My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that! Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck! Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The Scum Bar. Right. Thanks! Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Ahoy there, stranger! New in town? My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. I, I don't know, I kind of like Guybrush. But it's not even a name! Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. I'm welcome everywhere I go. Whatever you say, just watch out for those guard dogs. Uh oh, looks like my grog is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. What are you looking at me for? I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? Why aren't pirates welcome at the governor's house? Because of Lechop, that's why. He is the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did! And then things really got ugly. How did things get ugly? Lechop was a fearsome pirate. 
He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that that was the end of the fearsome pirate, Lechuk. We were wrong. What happened then? He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. Where can I get a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you, but that could take all day. Just find the mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Sorry to bother you. Bye. Right. I. I yourself. I. Nice hat. I. So, tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects and magic Spells? <laughs> Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today! Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. Nice talking to you. Oi! What be ye wanting, boy? I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole Lechuk thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag. And no swag means no grog. And we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. Well, all right, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword and the art of thievery and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Cozy. It's some sort of meat, or meat-like substance. Ow! Got it!
while. Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir... I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young. Inexperienced. Probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bother you with it. <laughs> I'd rather take it care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Flop. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant! Does this place have a bathroom? Say there, son, how do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat? Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat? No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous, acrobatic, and exceedingly well known. Fabulous, flying, Ferrucini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? Okay, I'll do it. We'll pay you 478 pieces of eight. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry! That is no helmet. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now, put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey!
Are you okay? I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just the recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! F Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You've made a wise decision. Now get lost. Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Oh, be my guest, Fancy Pants. Stop! You must pay a toll. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. While the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. I can out insult anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. Ah, a red herring. Pass.
I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you make me the best sword fighter on melee? You mean not counting the sword master? Counting everybody. I want to be the best. Better than the sword master? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said, but I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. Did you see my sign? I usually charge 30 pieces of eight for a big job like this one. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. Machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes! Come at me! Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me! Advance! Thrust! Recover! Parry! Repulse! Watch your footwork! Advance! Thrust! Recover! Parry! Repulse! Distance! Distance! Advance! Thrust! Recover! Parry! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm, just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you, you fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with... So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, how appropriate, you fight like a cow. You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with, I am rubber, you are glue. I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Move out of the way or I cuts my way through.
Nice night we're having, isn't it? I sure hopes you had something more important to stop me for. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Oh, yeah? Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win! Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as janitor after all? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Oh, yeah? There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh, yeah? Where did my sword go? What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? Eh, now that you mention it, they do. Eh, he's probably just that we're tired. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Oh, yeah? You have the manners of a beggar. I am rubber, you are glue. Yikes, nice move. Aye, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. I am rubber, you are glue. Me handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as a janitor after all. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I am rubber. You are glue. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why? Did you want to borrow one? Uncle! Uncle! Hey. This better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you feel comfortable with me. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? 
Why, did you want to borrow one? I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. I am rubber, you are glue! I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. They must have taught you everything you know. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh, yeah? Where did my sword go? Aye, oh, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate! You fight like a cow! I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why, did you want to borrow one? Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, yeah? I give up. You win. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. There are no words for how disgusting you are. I am rubber, you are glue. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I am rubber, you are glue. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learn them. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? Oh, I give up. You win. Aye, oh, 
This better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Where did my sword go? Move out of the way or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh, yeah? There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learn them. You make me want to puke. He must have taught you everything you know. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why, did you want to borrow one? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! What do you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword, master. Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. 
I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. I'll be right back. And don't touch anything! I don't see anything special about it. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike. And don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. My tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You run that fast? My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Oh, yeah? You are a pain in the backside, sir. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. I am rubber, you are glue. I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. Why, did you want to borrow one? I give up. You win. Well... I hope you're happy.
You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. The red button. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Ah! Gophers! It's beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh! That should hold for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol.
gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake, and when I come back, whew, you're gone! See if I ever do you a favor again. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one, please. Take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Oh, be my guest, Fancy Pants. Oh, Grago Mint! How refreshing! Thanks! So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! What flowers? The jello conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats! I can't stand carrot cake. Hey! This might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. I've got the file! Phew! That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet! Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. It belongs in a museum. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. 
I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So my idol belongs in a museum, eh? Gee! Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Er... Uh... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do. I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Bull. Rufenkiv. Gringly. I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, three work? You know, it's not too late for us to make up and be friends. Yeah. And it's also not too late for me to kill you and still make it to the bar for happy hour. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and- You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Festa wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me, and to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials, quickly. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like... dancing lessons.
the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. I found the treasure of Melee Island and all I got. I found the treasure of Melee Island and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey! What are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Attention Pirates of Melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. <laughs>